Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I want to play with some makeup, some new and some old. I have here one of the new Laura Mercier Caviar Eyeshadow Sticks in the shade called Raspberry. I want to use this as the inspiration for today's look. And I also want to talk about different movies and TV shows that I'm watching right now because I think we all need an escape from reality because at the moment, reality is a big, fat, no merci. So, before I go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee, let's take a sip, and let's get started. So, first and foremost, let's be extra. I'm going into the Chanel Hydra Beauty Essence Mist just to feel extra. So I'm going to go in directly with this shadow stick. I'm going to go ahead and do one eye at a time in case this dries down very quickly. So first and foremost, most of these movies and TV shows that I'm going to recommend to you are all delightful. They're, like I have my list over there and they're all just really fun and light and delightful. Okay, so here we have our cranberry shadow down here. Let's just blend this out a bit. So the first movie I would recommend to watch is the black and white classic some like it hot this is the movie with marilyn monroe and i know that there are two male actors in there that i cannot remember their names but they are very iconic hollywood acting legends i think i forget his name but i think one of them is the father of jamie lee curtis i could be wrong i forget his name clearly ends with curtis and it's a movie about these two musicians who accidentally <laughs> witness a mob or crime happening and so they decide to go to hiding because they're hiding from the mob and they decide to go into hiding by dressing as women and this movie for its time was very progressive i think like I, at that time in hollywood there were still a lot of laws about what you could show, about like decency, things like that. So I think showing men dressed as women was quite something at the time. And even when you look at it now, there are some things that have not aged well, but overall it's not that bad. I think that there are some movies that came out 10 years ago that aged much worse. And you just get Marilyn Monroe as like, her iconic bombshell self. I know she was much more intelligent than her movies portray her. You know, she's kind of like a ditzy blonde, but you can really tell like just, I don't know, how wonderful she was, like just as an actress and also just like how charming she was. It really just like comes through on the screen. It's such a delightful movie. Okay, I'm going into my palette here. This is the Chanel Warm Memories palette that came out with the spring collection. I'm gonna go into the matte shade on top here just as a transition shade. So the next movie I would highly recommend is called What We Do in the Shadows. Now, this is a New Zealand production. The director is called Taika Waititi. He did one of the Avengers movies recently, the funny one, basically. I don't remember what it's called, but anyway. And this movie, What We Do in the Shadows, is a bit of a spoof on vampire movies so imagine if twilight met the office that sort of comedy and even though we're talking about vampires and werewolves it's really a comedy and you have this household of kind of bumbling <laughs> vampires your main vampire i forget his name i think it's viago He's this like sweetheart, romantic at heart, and he just happens to be a vampire. And it's just really cute and again, delightful. I'm just going over top here where I placed that cranberry shade and just buffing everything out. I'm gonna go ahead and pass it under the bottom lashes here too. I'm just gonna go back over top here and just put more of this cranberry shade. It kind of smudged out earlier when I was blending it. Let's go ahead and trace this on the bottom lashes as well. So the next super delightful movie I have to recommend is a very long name. 
It is the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society, which is about life on a British island along the English Channel during the Second World War. And that does sound like a pretty heavy topic, but it's actually super cute. It's about a woman who is a writer and there's a literary book club in Guernsey and there is a connection made and there's a correspondence and then she goes and visits this small little island and then there's a love story and it's just really really cute i think we should just switch to face makeup and then finish up the eyes afterwards that'll be easier so i'm going into my giorgio armani luminous silk foundation in the shade 5.5 also you know let's not overthink things what about musicals mamma mia delightful um hairspray i love hairspray and the 80s classic footloose i love footloose kevin bacon those songs those dance moves that weird town that was allergic to fun what a great movie i mean i guess it, the town wasn't allergic to fun it was just illegal to have fun. Remember, no music, no dancing. Mm -mm. And then for the concealer, I'm going into my NARS Creamy Radiant in the shade Medium One Custard. And also, on the topic of not overthinking things, the Lord of the Rings. There's three of them. They're each like three and a half hours long, and it is total fantasy. Wizards, elves, like, it's just, it's literally not even on this planet. It's total escapism. And you get Viggo Mortensen and Orlando Bloom for like 12 hours. So, perfection. For the bronzer, I'm going to go into my Guernet Terracotta palette here. I'm going to go ahead and mix both of the bronzers. And another movie that my husband and I recently watched and remembered how delightful it was, Apollo 13. It's so good, you know? You have a bit of 1950s slash 60s nostalgia. You have people who are put in extraordinary situations and under a lot of stress, but making the right decision is so good. For the blush, I'm gonna go into this Tom Ford blush called Wicked. Now, let's not ignore television because Movies are great, but so are TV shows because sometimes you can find a TV show with like five or six seasons and then you're just like golden. So a TV show that I absolutely love and I think is probably my favorite TV show is one called The Good Place. And it's about moral philosophy. Hold on, I know it sounds crazy, but it's actually really, really good. And it's a comedy, first of all. And I do have to say that the first time I watched it, it took a couple episodes to get into it because when you first watch it, the first few episodes, you're like, what is going on? It takes a couple to really get it. But then once you push through, it's so good. I have rewatched that show many times. It's the idea that there is a good place or a bad place in the afterlife. And depending on your actions on earth, you accumulate points for either side and it's just really funny another really good comedy is one called brooklyn 99 this is a cop policeman police officer comedy for the highlighter i'm going into my chanel le blanc rosy light drops this one i feel like is a bit more slapstick sometimes like they do have gags and things like that so it's a different type of comedy than the good place but it's still really good and, you know, who doesn't need a good laugh right now? I'm going in with a bit of eyeliner. This is the Chanel Stylo Yeux in Brun Agape. It's a really nice soft brown. So another great TV show is one called Cheer. This is a documentary about a cheerleading team and it pulls on every single emotion. It's a true story, it's a documentary. These are real kids who are cheerleading and it is so good you're going to feel every single emotion over cheerleading it's quite something i had no idea that cheerleading was such an intensive sport it's crazy okay so i'm noticing that this cranberry shadow stick 
keeps creasing. I, I put on an eyeshadow primer beforehand and no matter what I do, it's like turning into like patches here, which is quite gross. So I'm going to go ahead and try to put a bit more on and I'll try to just like stay put like this for a few minutes just to see if it'll like not stamp over. That's rather disappointing because I really like the color and I like the ease of using a shadow stick because it's easy, but this just keeps like transferring and it keeps smudging it looks like an eyeshadow that's been on my eyelids for like 12 hours if you don't use a primer okay now i'm going to go into some mascara this is the volume de chanel a remake i would recommend is the new chilling adventures of sabrina so remember sabrina the teenage witch in the 90s with um melissa joan hart well they have revamped it and it's definitely not the same flavor it's a bit darker, but it's still like a PG-13 teen drama. It's pretty light still, and it's there definitely are moments where you really have to suspend disbelief because you're like, that doesn't make any sense. It's fine. Don't really think about it. Don't overthink it. Just enjoy your brain cells taking a relaxation for a moment. You know, you kind of just have to relax and enjoy the show. It's one of those shows that's pretty cheesy and campy and I'm not sure they're aware of it and it's just, it's a really good time. So I feel like this is still creasing. Like I can feel the stickiness on my eyelids and this is really disappointing because I love the color but do I have to like sit like this for like 10 minutes for it to dry? I don't understand. Like it looks nice if I'm just sitting like this but then if you see my eyelid, it's creasing now. Like it's like anywhere that my eyelids touch, the product is like sticking together and then taking it off. That's unfortunate. I don't know if I need to put a powder over top, but as I mentioned, I use an eyeshadow primer beforehand. It's the same one that I use for every single look. That's quite unfortunate. Let's go ahead and finish it up with a nude lipstick. I'm going into my Dior Lip Maximizer in the shade Rosewood. Actually, I changed my mind. I wanna go into this Lisa Eldridge lipstick called Velvet Decade. It's very dark and I think it'll match my shirt and go with like this cranberry dark look we're going for. I don't have Velvet Jazz. It's the only lipstick that I didn't get and I'm really regretting it because I think it would look perfect with this look here. But I like it. It kind of gives me some 90s supermodel vibes with this super dark lipstick. And one last recommendation on the topic of 90s, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the TV show. I mean, the movie is fine. I think it depends how old you are, but for me, I grew up with the TV show and there were like, what, eight or nine seasons and there's like 20 episodes in each season and every episode is an hour long, so you have lots of time. I love Buffy. I am totally Team Angel. That's my team. I don't know if you're Team Spike or Team Riley, but I love Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Ugh, she is everything and she's like peak 90s chic. I mean, there's also Clueless, but Buffy the Vampire Slayer is where it's at. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed today's look. I'm really disappointed with this Laura Mercier caviar stick. It's cre like, as I'm talking, I can feel my eyelids like sticking together. This sucks, I don't know. I'm gonna try to keep working with it. If you have any suggestions for how to get this to work better, please let me know. Let me know what are some of your top movie or TV show recommendations. I would love to hear it. I am also looking for new things to watch at the moment. I hope you're all having a beautiful day. I hope you're all staying home and staying safe. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you are new to my channel, whenever I get a new collection, I will create several different looks with the same items. So you at home really get a sense of how to use up all of your makeup items. So if that interests you, please subscribe. Okay, I think this is all I have for you guys for today. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.